Greetings to all of humanity's real joy. It's a pleasure. It's my honor as usual to be greeting you and bringing this message of emancipation to you where I'm pointing you to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. And that is why I want to speak to you today concerning the secret of the empty tomb. Now, the very first thing I want you to know that this topic is teaching you about your secret self and the dead burial and resurrection of self. But before I go any further, I want to let you know that when you read the Bible, you must realize that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. For the Bible is not literal. Don't fool yourself. Neither is it secular history. And the Bible is written symbolically. Also, I want to let you know that the Bible has no reference to anyone who existed thousands of years ago or to any actual event that would have taken place on earth thousands of years ago. Okay? So from the beginning to the ending of the Bible, it's all a great psychological jammer. It all have to do with the human psyche. Now, if you're religious, just listen to me. There's no book that can be written that wasn't for a thought or for an idea or for us imagine. So get your mind right. Now, this great author body experience of which you're reading in the Bible can only be known by experience, not by intellect. So, those people who believe that the Bible is literal and secular history, they believe that they're reading of a story that would have taken place with a man who existed 2,000 years ago, who looks just like the slave master and he had certain power. But it's an idol that was given to them to worship the slave master as their Lord and Savior. So my brother and my sisters, when you realize that the self of man is God and that God in man is man's imagination, you would realize that the Bible is speaking of an awakened imagination. So when you have an awakened imagination, you would realize that your body is the tomb and you would realize that the skull of man is Golgotha. This is Calvary. Okay. For it wasn't until I would have awakened within myself like a fiery being and would have heard that an ugly wind, that great and mighty wind. And all of that happened just after I would have first of all experienced that great and mighty shaking when a marriage took place at the base of my spine in the form of two lights, a blue and a golden liquid light. Okay? And when that union took place, that's when I ascend like a fiery being after the opening of an eye. And so I realize that when it is said in the Bible that as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so shall the Son of Man be lifted up. I'm saying to you, when it is said also that as the lightning comes from the east and so on, this is the same experience, okay? And you would realize all of that is happening from the base of your spine and come right up. And you would exit your skull and become invisible and understand the mystery or the secret of the empty tomb. So my brother and my sisters, you see how millions and millions of people around the world are building their life based on false hope based on a lie, based on a death, burial, and a resurrection of a man 2,000 years ago. It is the greatest deception that has been ever fed to humanity. For the Jesus and Mary story, where they interpret the Bible to you as literal and as secular history, and show you that a woman gave birth to a child from down below while she was still a virgin, it's the greatest lie that has been ever fed to humanity. The birth from the virgin birth, I should say, takes place from the skull. And it is the same resurrection story. So, my brother, my sisters, my biggest encouragement to you is to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity and accept the fact that the kingdom of God is within man. 
And God is not a man in the sky. God is the power that is within you that you refer to as life for your spirit having a human experience. So there's no God in the sky. There's no God outside of yourself. And that is why our ancestors all down through the ages have been saying, man, know thyself. Man, know thyself. So the cross that has been given to a people have been keeping the people in mental slavery. And they never understand the key of life. They never understand what it means to know their true self. So my brother, my sister, this is the wake up time. This is a, a wake up call for people to understand the secret of the empty tomb is actually an outer body experience. And that is why I'm saying to you, if you are under the sound of my voice, do not let anyone ever brainwash you or deceive you to make you believe that outer body experience have to do with evil. Because every time you fall asleep, every time you go to bed and you're dreaming, you're having an outer body experience. As a matter of fact, whenever you fall asleep, you're having an outer body experience. And you can fall asleep consciously, okay? I would have fallen asleep consciously and I would have fallen, fallen asleep and I went into a void. I feel when you, my true self slipped out of my body and I went into a void. But when it comes to waking back up, if you do not know how to wake up back, you find yourself outside of this body. And you, if you are fearful, you're going to fight and fight to get back in this body and you can hurt yourself. Okay? And you can have this kind of outer body experience of which I'm speaking about if you learn to monitor that light, that blue flame that is in your forehead. And you can hold it right up to that drowsy, sleepy state. And when you go into that dimension, you go in with a wish. <clears throat> because you would realize that anything that you wish in that realm, when you move in it and you're still conscious, okay, that it will be manifested. But you have to know how to wake back up by using imagination and realize that you're on your bed and you are sleeping and you just want to relax and come back to consciousness and you'll become unconscious before you become conscious again. So my brother, my sisters, what I'm saying here is not for the, the weak and the fearful. So it might not be a good thing to, to try it if you fall a fear, okay? But my real experience that I had, I didn't do anything for that. I went to bed, lie down and sleep and had this great earthquake experience and wake up within myself. That's why I can tell you the Bible is not the book that the clergy told you. It's not the book that your government told you. And it's not the book that you're told in school also. Because for me who grew up in the Caribbean, we were taught the Bible in school to believe in Jesus and to pray to Jesus. So this whole message of the secret of the empty tomb is a wake-up call for people to wake up and realize that their body is the tomb and that the skull is Golgotha. Therefore, please stop crucifying your imagination because it was imagination that creates education. It is imagination that creates religion because the eternal body of man is the imagination and that is God himself. There's nothing greater than imagination. And when you have an awakened imagination, then you understand the chief system that is keeping people in mental slavery. And that is why they give you the Jesus and Mary story so that you would not have that empty tomb experience by coming out of your body and becoming one with the wind, becoming invisible. So you reading of an empty tomb and they tell you how the woman went at the tomb and they made this empty tomb and so on. <laughs> it's all about the experience, my brothers and my sisters. Okay, and you need to have an outer body experience to really realize that your spirit, your spirit having a human experience. And that is why many people would go to the length of taking something like ayahuasca or some sort of psychedelic to have some form of outer body experience. And it, it helps them also in seeing the system and what the system is doing to the people. And that is why all the things that you're seeing happening in the world right now, it is because of this mass awakening and people coming to realize the secret of the empty tomb. And people are taking back their, their power 
and people are declaring exactly who they are. So, my brother, my sister, if you listen to me and your family members or any kind of relative who still chat in secular Christianity, try your best to help them to understand the law of mentalism and to understand that the Bible is a spiritual autobiography that must be interpreted psychologically and that true Christianity must point you to look inwardly for the kingdom of God is within you. So until you discover the kingdom of God is within you, you will not even be able to have that resurrection experience. You will not be able to have that great outer body experience, which is actually the empty tomb. So with that being said, my brother, my sisters, I want to thank you very much. And I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you're listening to me and what I'm saying it makes sense to you, if you haven't subscribed already, I'm encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment or to share this video. Also, I would like to encourage you to follow me on Instagram at Black Mad Guru. And also, if you would like more information or uh, you would like what I'm doing on Patreon, I would encourage you to become a patron because right now I'm posting some videos that deals with the inner sun science and technology, which is inner sun engineering. And at this time, you see Bill Gates, they have an agenda and they want to dim the sun, they want to black out the sun. And this is the time that you should understand more of the inner sun science and technology to create your reality consciously. And I would have done those uh, videos a year and one month ago. And my intuition was telling me not to post them, not to post them because I was doing it for a course. And my intuition was telling me not to post them, not to post them. And when I saw this whole thing with Bill Gates, then my spirit said, now is the time to move. Okay, so it's very important to trust your intuition. If your intuition is telling you to be a part of the Patreon and get to know more about uh, the inner sun science and technology, it is for those who are donating from $20 and up who would be able to access this information. I have 11 videos. Okay, and after that, I'm going to continue teaching you concerning the inner sun science and technology. Okay, so you can practice that, that inner sun engineering in your life. So it will be an ongoing teaching. Okay, so let me say also if you would like to just, you know, support, uh, there's a, a paper link and all the information that you need, they're, they're right down below. So check them out. So with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I want to say peace, love you all, and out.